so far we had the turbocharged Liquid Freezer 3 240 Max and 280 Max. Both absolute monsters, both could be considered as Eardrum Destroyer 3000s, but what if we push it even further? The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 Max, now featuring 381 CFM up to 4.45 mm of H2O and up to 3300 RPM quick P12 Maxes. Yeah, these things just, just hurt if they are running at max speed. To test if maxing out the biggest 120mm based Liquid Freezer 3 makes any sense at all, we did exactly the same thing we are always doing. By using our regular Intel test bench using a 3900K and 3 presets, 120, 250 and 320Ws. From there we start off at full speed and then we slowly lower the fan speed while slowing down the noise to create a noise to performance graph, exactly as we did with any Liquid Freezer before and the pump always running at 100%. At 120W running through the socket, we can see that we probably reach the max that the whole AIO line can possibly handle at that low of a workload. At 27.7 degrees C above ambient, it reached precisely the same temperature as the 240 max and just like a tad in front of the 280 max, but nothing that I would describe as outside the margin of error. Compared to the original thing, the gain has now become just 2.1 degrees C above ambient, but that was like foreseeable considering we are barely scratching the surface of what heat CPUs can produce nowadays. The noise to performance graph for the 360 Max does look interesting for a change. First we start off on an incredibly loud point, which then very quickly outperforms both the 240 and 280 Max, thankfully and then it slowly travels towards the noise to performance ratio achieved by the regular 420, but then it just stops here, funnily enough. It, it stops right in between the two measuring points of the regular 360, which makes like perfect sense, and so does the fact that we benchmark everything in 10% steps, and we stop everything when we reach 30% of the respective fan speed. And I do that because some fans start doing weird stuff at like 25 or 20%, so I just stop at 30. And what does matter here is that three P12 Maxes at 30% are much, much quicker and much, much louder than three P12 ARGBs. Hence the graph just abruptly stops here because they never reach noise floor. And by the way, the 240 Max also doesn't reach noise law. These P12 Maxes are just like, they're just wild. But let's get to some actual benchmarks. At 250 watts running through the chip, the 360 Max managed to keep the chip at 52.6 degrees C above ambient. Now in the margin of error of the push-pull version of the Hi-Q60 Extra Thick, which I for some reason forgot to take out of the graph, and yeah, now we have a comparison value but within reach of the other two max AIOs. And the overall gain now has become just 1.8 degrees C compared to the original deal, which is kind of less than we had before, so yeah, there's that. Interestingly, we did squeeze out a tiny bit more performance compared to the other maxes, but it's really not as if 0.7 or 0.6 are like a real thing. And considering the original LF3 420 is still sitting right next to all of the other maxes, yeah, there's just a limit there. The noise to performance line is kind of different at 250 watts. At max, the 360 is just offset by that 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and then it keeps this offset until about 40% fan speed where the 280 max takes over again. And then of course it just stops midway because the fans are just brutally loud. And compared to the original deal, the max never quite reaches that one. It, it's kind of hard and or unfair to read this accurately because at this point we are talking about the ratio between 40 and 30% of the max's fan speed against 190, 80, 70 and 60% of the regular one. So it's natural that there, this line here is way more precise than this one, but still the max is a bit behind once we normalize the two. And what about 320 watts? Now the 360 Max kept the port chip at 70.7 degrees C above ambient, 3.7 degrees C colder than the original one, so yeah. We finally got a difference that I would consider bigger than the margin of error. That said, this is just the Max. The 240, 280 are within reach, and you could say that the regular 420 is a bit behind, that's maybe true, but but the cost, the cost is, is just way too big. The noise to performance graph for the 360 Max looks pretty similar to the one we got on the 120 watts workload. The 360 starts off slightly behind the 240 Max, just a bit colder, then overtakes it and keeps up that ratio until it merges somewhat into the regular 360, but with a big as distance to the slightly bigger but much more efficiently performing LF3 for 20. Yeah, I, I don't know. The overall gain for every LF3 with max fans 
I mean, they are all colder, it's not that, but they just, they became substantially louder at the benefit versus the cost, it's just, so was this worth it? I mean, if, if you are deaf, sure, but maxing out the fans, it, it is very clearly beneficial, it might become less and less beneficial as we use bigger AIOs, but the point stands. And for the LF3 360 Max, if you're watching this video to find out how much more performance you can squeeze out, the best we could achieve is 3.7 degrees difference at 320 watts, so there you go. But if I had to decide if I do this, no, I would push pull it. This is not worth it. But okay, this was everything for my poor monstrosity of the day. And at this point, sorry to Arctic for all the things I have been doing lately to their AIO. If you're wondering why I'm so efficient at breaking your stuff and then whining to get them replaced, these videos might uh, give you some insight. You can, or you can just ask Noctua. Apparently the amount of PWM connectors that I'm breaking isn't normal. I don't know why. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to build a second floor for the fighting pit. Dual fans in the bottom, triple fans in the top. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the LF3280 Max, if you haven't seen that one already. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.